Hello everybody and welcome back to the Block Hoarder. This is episode 41 and today we will be continuing the exploration of this cave slash ravine system underneath a jungle and maybe also leaving it and going back to the search for a second ocelot if time permits. There is no new snapshot today because the Minecraft team is at GDC. In retrospect I should have seen that coming but I didn't realize it until last night. Whatever. But that's okay because I have a second video to put out today anyway, so. Not a big deal. Um, right, I want to keep that on that slot. Please don't explode outwards, lava. Thank you. Okay, so we got some gold. Got lots of coal. Lots of water. Speaking of which, where is that water even coming from? Jump! Up the hill! Aha! And there's some birds being loud outside. Always fun times. Hmm, this cave is huge. Just in general, and this one specifically. Uh oh. Baby zombie, where is he? Lag! Oh gosh. You don't want lag when dealing with zombies, or anything, really. It's not an ideal situation. Crap, now I'm down to 34 melons. Also not an ideal- oops. Throwing them down is also not an ideal situation. What is going on here? I'm getting lag spikes left and right. And hearing another baby zombie. Okay, so that was a pretty early crash in this episode. Let's hope that's the only one, because that'll be annoying. Sent me back in time slightly before I lit this section of the cave, but whatever, that was pointless. It looks like that baby zombie didn't spawn this time, so that's good. And look! Found some gold! So that's nice. I'm being rewarded for dealing with these crashes, obviously. If it crashes again, I'm going to restart my computer because this is a bit silly. I don't know if it's the jungle above us or what, but... It should not be lagging like this in a cave. Anyway... Oh god. Well, the thing about render distance is it doesn't really matter when you're in a cave, so let's do that. But anyway, news. Um, Java 8 is out. I think it came out on Tuesday. I don't know if I mentioned this in the last episode or not, probably not, but it's out. For some insane reason, they haven't added it to their website yet, though, so if you want it, you're going to have to... Well, I mean, by their website, I mean java.com. It is on other websites, but java.com is, like, the one that a lot of people use, and for some reason, they haven't put it on there yet. I don't know if it's because it's kind of like a a test thing still. They want to make sure it doesn't blow something up. But whatever the case, if you want it, you have to go somewhere else right now, even though it's been a few days. Okay. Okay. Yes, we'll just continue over here. Whoop. And Java 8 seems interesting. The only problem with Java, and really with just computers in general, is so many people put off upgrading that it takes years until you can actually use new features. Yeah, like, it was only recently that Java 6 really became, like, widespread enough to where you could stop doing Java 5. Although, personally, I've never supported Java 5. When I first started making my cheese mod, it always was in Java 6. 
And I actually have a version detection thing in there that will tell you that you should think about upgrading to Java 7. Just to try to help things along. Holy crap. Because I would... Crap. But I would like to use the new features of the new language stuff, but... Can't really do that unless you can guarantee all your, um... I guess the only word for it is customers, but I'm not really selling anything. You can't do anything really unless they're all updated. Oh jeez. Come on! I'm trying to mine here. You know the name of this game? Minecraft? I gotta mine? Not get shot by skeletons? Crap. He's not listening to me. It's raining. That could account for some of the lag. Hey, look. How convenient. Er, there we go. Okay, let's be careful about this one. Oh, good. No lava. How nice. There's some more. Oh, come on! What a jerk. Okay, let's get up here and grab... Okay, I restarted my computer. It sent us back in time a bit, but hopefully that will be the last crash in this episode. Uh, in retrospect, I think my graphics card had been acting a bit weird, so I probably should have restarted it before I even started recording, but whatever. Huh. Did I just duplicate gold? I could have sworn I already got this. Or did I just miss this? I have no idea. I don't remember mining it. Maybe I just didn't get it yet. Whatever the case, I have 35 gold. Just picked up something, I don't know what. That's my way out. But I wouldn't mind exploring over here a bit, to be honest. I do need to eat. Okay. Oh. We got some gold. Wouldn't it suck if there was like a lava block hiding behind that? Oh, um, something else I should mention is that they've released the changelog for the next, uh, console Minecraft update. For uh, Xbox 360 and PS3. Oops. Normally you can do that. Why can't I do that? Come on. No. Whatever. I will just dig my way through then. So that's cool. They've added zombie villagers, trading with villagers, and carrots, potatoes, desert temples, uh, I think jungle temples. Just a whole bunch of cool stuff that is obviously already out in the PC version, but still, seems like they're catching up. Maybe someday they will be the exact same. Uh oh. Kinda tempted to try to kill him, but no, that would be dumb. But I think I'm basically done with this cave. I didn't find any diamonds, but there doesn't seem to be any diamonds to find, so... I'm not gonna go mining out here. Because that would be a lot of resources to bring back. So let's just get out of here without suffocating. We're getting shot down by a skeleton, that would be bad. Okay, there's my chest. Oh jeez. Um, misclicking, misclicking. Yep. I was worried about this. 
Okay, well, we'll just leave some stuff behind then. Yeah, there we go. I'll probably come back here if I do make a portal to this jungle, so that's good. And this is my artificial waterfall that I made to get in, so... That's cool, I guess. And here we are, back in the jungle. Now, maybe we've given Ocelot some time to spawn. Probably would have been better if it hadn't been raining, but whatever. I guess to start things off, I can't pick that up right. What can I put in there? There we go. Ah! Didn't mean to do that. There we go. Let's just get rid of some trees from the nearby vicinity. Make this ravine a bit easier to spot, and also less likely for me to fall in accidentally in the next time I come through here. I said that a bit strange, but whatever. Gotta detach it from this giant tree. There we go. And this should also maybe reduce the lag in the area. Less blocks is less lag. Right. Yeah. And it would let more light in if I got rid of these trees. Double log. The only thing I would wish they would do is they need to add larger map sizes to the console Minecrafts, even if it's single player only, and only like twice the size of the current one. They just need to do that. It's the only problem. Hopefully these leaves start despawning. Whoop! That was a close one. And now it's turning nighttime. That's why I went in the cave in the first place. Oh! <laughs> that was close. Let's light this up. Jeez, that would have actually probably not hurt at all, but still. Best to avoid it. I'll put a torch on here as well. I'm pretty much wanting it to turn daylight before I go exploring. The weather is not cooperating with my plans in this episode. But it does give me time to do some renovations I would normally not do in YouTube videos. that tree. I've been really seriously considering doing a series of a mod. I don't know what mod. I was thinking Pixelmon. The only problem is I'm not certain if I can monetize it or not. I'm not certain how the legality works or if they use any music or sound effects that might trigger the content ID system. I've never actually played it. I've just been watching the change logs. But I still might do a video too even if I can't. It's just I want to know before I do it. Because you get your most views usually in the first week or two of a video release. 
Because I do do videos that can't be monetized, like my Elder Scrolls Online series. As far as I know, I can't really monetize that. People will say that it should fall under fair use, and I think that's probably true. But... I'm way too um, unimportant of a YouTuber to actually have any power to argue that point if somebody were to disagree. And I'd rather not argue with YouTube over that sort of stuff. On the plus side, they haven't been content IDing it, so at least there's that. It always bugs me when they put ads on my videos when I'm not monetizing them. Okay. So many of these ground ones, it's ridiculous. I could just burn all these down. Except that would never burn all the way down. It just wouldn't. It's these ground ones that cause all the lag because it greatly increases the number of leaves. Deceptively. Okay. Something else I've been wanting to do lately is to start writing a blog. It's something I've been wanting to do quite a lot over the years. It's just never really gotten around to it. I've I've done some blog posts, but never really... I want my own site, basically, is the thing. Not just posting some other site. And I think... I've always had this plans of making Pico blogs, which would just be kind of like... two. It would actually be two different types of blog things, what I call a normal blog, which is kind of like WordPress or something, and then a blog community, which is kind of like a forum mixed with blogs. It's a bit... not sure how to describe it, really, without just giving you example websites to look at, but I've been wanting to program that, and actually that was one of the first things I did in PHP, was program a blog community, but, you know, that was one of the first things I did, and therefore the code sucked and the backbone of my Pico code has changed significantly over the years to the point where anything written more than like two three years ago would be better off being completely rewritten than trying to update it so uh, but that that's really something I'm feeling like I should start doing so Right now I'm working on something called Pico Notes, which is just this little feature I'm making for the main Pico site and some other stuff that lets you basically just store text online. I mean, it's nothing revolutionary, but it will integrate with the rest of my stuff. And that's basically what Pico is going to be. Just every idea I have integrated together so that you can only use all of it as one thing. I feel like there's some stuff and I think I've gotten rid of enough leaves where I can maybe deal with fancy graphics in this little area. Jeez, look at all the ones around here. Four in a row. But I was right, the lag seems fine now. Where is... Oh, I can't see in this lighting. It's too dark. So this is more like a talk about me episode, but that's okay. Vlogging on YouTube is apparently very popular. I've never really paid attention to it myself. But even like Farlands or Bust is basically a vlog. And that's a Minecraft series, so if if that counts, then this counts, I think. This is a vlog episode. Um, yeah.
Back to speaking on Java 8, though, I'm not really sure if I'm going to use any of the new features that they've added. They added things called lambdas or whatever, but I'm not, you know, a computer science major or anything. I was websites, and even in my major, they didn't really get around to teaching us any programming languages outside of a small amount of JavaScript and Ajax. I don't know why I hopped on that leaf. But I did. So I'm basically self-taught in programming, and I think I'm pretty good at it, but I'm also limited in what I've actually learned. I've only learned what I needed to, so if I have a way of doing something, I'm not likely to teach myself something like Lambdas to do it slightly differently. And I don't even know what they are, really, just some different way of programming stuff. Um, that was weird. I don't have a full stack. It didn't make the pickup noise. Hey! Oh, it's still up there, isn't it? Hey, when that happens. Did I get it? 58? I must have. Oh, daytime's coming. I can finally get out of here. Let's pick up all these stuff that has dropped, because this is still block order. Okay, I think that's everything that's dropped. Um, need to detach this, actually. So, one thing I've um, learned about recently is CTM maps, or uh, Complete the Monument maps, which is something I'd never really heard of, but now I've seen it. It's kind of like just a challenge where you go find different colored wool blocks. Um, there. It seems interesting. I might do a video of one of those. I don't know how good I would be at it since I'm basically completely unfamiliar with the entire concept, but it is a possibility. Okay, what can I get rid of? Huh. Well, I can always just toss one of these in there. Why did I do that? I would need to toss all of them in there. Oops. Oh well. You can tell I'm not thinking straight, apparently. I am a bit tired, actually, so that could explain why I did that stupid stuff. Um... All those furnaces I made. So pointless. Well, the main thing is finding ocelots. Just place this here and make another chest, basically. And put that here. Why did I shift for that? I have no clue. I didn't press it against... Whatever. Okay, put the fish back in the hot bar, and the fishing rod, and the leash. Let's catch one more fish, actually, because we've been lucky so far, so chances are the next one I'll be unlucky. So better to be safe than sorry in this case. I really want to just find an ocelot and get back to the base. I've got stuff I want to build. I want to actually get started on the... Oh great, a bone. How a bone grabs onto the hook, I don't know. It's just a fish trolling us, carrying around a bone in its mouth. Come on, fish. 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 Oh, man. There we go. Please be an actual fish. Thank you. Now I got two of each. I should probably turn the graphics down now. Because I'm heading into uncharted territory, actually. Let's make sure not to go back the way I originally came from. Doesn't look like anything really spawned. There's a chicken. But if I kill mobs, then I have to worry about bank space. Not bank space. Thinking of RuneScape. Um, inventory space. What was that? Just a, yeah. Bank space. That's basically ender chest space in Minecraft. 
which inner chest is one of the things they're adding in the next version of the console games. Mine now. Or not. Look at that. That is nice. Well, surely I have... Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're going down, cow. Because the more cows I kill, the higher chances of a ocelot spawn. Oh, he's... He's learned how to evade me, so he gets to live. There's some more melons if I run out of food. This is the place to be. Plenty of cows and melons lying around. Ready to be eaten. Uh-oh. Um, goodbye. I hit you with fish. Jeez, is this a mountain? No, it's just jungle, unless I was on the edge. There's another cow. Huh. Where are the ocelots? Two chickens. I think I have all the chicken drops as well, so let's go demolish some mobs here. Is that a mushroom? Yep. There we go. Thank you for the experience. Oh, hello, dead chicken. I didn't kill you, but I will take the reward nonetheless. Let's get my melons back on the bar. I think I need to start cooking potatoes. That's something I've never really gotten into, but... Well, the issue is cooking them costs wood. Oh, I keep thinking I'm seeing ocelots, but I'm not. At least I hope I'm not. Because if I'm seeing them and thinking I'm not, then I'm missing out on opportunities. Regardless. More dead cows. There's a pig. And... Okay, you didn't drop anything down there. Did I see another mob over here? Huh, could have sworn. Yes, I did. Where is he? Oh, there one is. I don't know if you were the one that just made a noise, but you died because of it. So you can blame him. Pigs. Oh, I don't want to go any deeper into the jungle. That wasn't an ocelot. Oh, I'm seeing things. Okay, we need to get up this hill, I think. Get a bit of a view. Climbing this hill will be fun, I'm sure. Oh, almost can reach that vine. Almost. There we go. Ah, the pristine jungle environment, untouched by mankind. Which is not too surprising, considering there's only one human in this entire world. Oh well, and I actually have started to damage this environment, so hooray! Oop. I almost climbed that. Let's try that again. Oh. Whatever. Can I climb it from this direction? No. Fine, I'll just head down. I didn't want to climb that mountain anyway. That looks like the edge of the jungle. That's not good. Well, in some ways it's good. Because I don't want to get too far away. It would take me forever to get back. And with a misbehaving ocelot, the last thing I want to do is have to walk a long way. Especially since they seem to have trouble staying above the water when they swim. No sign of any jungle temples. It's surprising. I really thought I would run into one. Oh well. Yeah, I'll head over here because of the edge, see if that is actually what it was, or if I'm just seeing things. Chicken bones, gotta go pick those up. If I can get over there. Oh, lag. But I made it anyway. Cow, yes, I heard you. Um, it doesn't help that cats are silent. 
yeah there's definitely a lot of lag right here so lots of leaves lots of new chunk generation I'm guessing well where's the edge I didn't want to go through the middle of a jungle hmm because there's no way a cat's getting through here unless I drag it while it's sitting I guess that could work actually oh, that's just a thing if I put the leash on it, it will never get far enough away to teleport. So maybe you can bring them through if you have a leash. Hmm, I never thought of that. In that case, maybe going through the middle is a good idea. If I could just find a freaking ocelot even in here. There's another tree that's missing some of its trunk. Don't know what's causing that. Um, right. Chicken. Dead. Dead. Crap, I'm out of time. Huh. Experience. I'm just going to head over here real quick. See if that was the edge that I was seeing, or if it just keeps going and going and going. Looks like it just keeps going and going and going. Yeah. Another pig, I don't care. I'm trying to see what's over this area. It might just not be generating. This is a pretty wide river, though. Um... Well, sorry about that, I had to mute real quick, but I am unmuted, right? Yes. This is the edge, after all. And we didn't find a single ocelot along the way. Or a jungle temple. Okay, it's not really the edge edge that I thought it was. But regardless, this will count as the end of the episode, so let's climb up this tree for fun. Oh no. Jiggly. Okay, can't really climb, can we? Fine, I won't. Not from there, at least. Can just go the long way, apparently, that I didn't notice. There, a safe place to log out. So yeah, this has been Kebab799. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Like this video if you liked it. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you in the next episode.